Nanotechnology is when scientists start with molecules and by using small particles they are able to be precise to create exactly what they want to make. With major advances in science and chemistry, scientists are able to work with nanomaterials smaller than strands of DNA. Surface area is a major part of nanotechnology. Using only molecules and atoms, there is a lot of surface area for scientists to work with which allows more of a reaction. Nanotechnology is used to create materials or even microcomputers that can be used for very specific tasks. Currently, nanotechnology is used in many consumer products, ranging from air sanitizer to seat cushions, as well as several other items. Nanotechnology is now being used by the military to create new and better equipment, along with new innovations that will help increase productivity. These advances will be very helpful for the military because it provides a solution to many of the problems that previously seemed unsolvable. Problems such as personal hygiene and pinpoint targeting help make the military more efficient. Within the next 20 years, combat gear is predicted to have evolved to adapt to battlefield conditions. Invisible chameleon armor that uses temperature to allow soldiers to blend in with their surroundings. And hopefully this armor will have the ability to receive signals of oncoming attacks. These new technologies are also hoped to make armor and helmets as much as 60% lighter than they are currently, and that men themselves go together after being ripped, scratched, or torn. Scientists hope that this smart armor will be able to help the common soldier to fight more safely on the battlefield, with other protections such as gas and chemi chemical protection and warning, as well as heat protection. And with greater advances in science every day, there could be even more in store for the future of nanotechnology and its use in the military. In the desert of New Mexico is a weapon you can't see and you can't hear. It travels at the speed of light. And its objective is pain. This weapon is in its final phase testing on human targets. Act of Denial is a millimeter wave transmitter. It e emits a beam that's very collimated, very discreet, and, and goes a long distance, impacts on a target, in this case the target being people. Active denial, or the pain beam as it's colloquially known, is a deterrent weapon which will stop people in their tracks. Just imagine a wall of flame. You think it's a wall of flame. You don't see it. You don't hear it. It feels like a wall of flame coming around you. Your brain will tell you to react, uh, no matter how hard you're trying to stay. Uh, your brain thinks there's a wall of flame there. And uh, I jumped out of the way every time. Its exact operation is still classified. Controlled by a simple joystick and beamed by antennae, the pain beam can be pulsed, swelled, or swept. It can strike well beyond 800 yards. It penetrates their clothing, impacts on their skin. It heats that very, very outer layer to intolerable pain levels and causes a reaction, and it does this well before causing permanent damage. Penetrating the surface layer of skin, millimeter wave energy rapidly heats the epidermis without burning or causing damage to internal organs. It is heating your water molecules and causing them to vibrate, which creates heat. Your nerves sense the heat. Your brain says something is getting extremely hot and, and basically takes over. Pain's a basic defense mechanism. You're going to react. The antennae can be mounted on all military hardware. The active denial system may be in deployment as soon as 2008.